Hey everybody! Uh, welcome back to our second week now of talking about our new game, Ages of Mayhem. Uh, we, I'm, let's start that over. I'm Josh Stinson. Hi! <laughs> I'm the video editor here, the person who usually hosts the streams. Uh, today we've also got... Was it past me or me? You. Okay, hi, the... sorry. <laughs> Mike Jungluth, lead animator. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm Jordan Angeloni. I'm a gameplay systems designer. And awkwardly wedged between them, I am Jason O. Blair, and I was lead writer on Agents of Man. And uh, we'll also be having, later on the stream, uh, T.C. Carson, who is the voice of Hardtack, the agent we're going to be focusing on uh, this stream. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so if this is, you haven't come to these before, uh, we're going to be streaming every week, every Thursday, until launch, which is in mid-August. And uh, yeah, I guess we just go straight to talking about the development of Hardtack? Hardtack! Hardtack! Hardtack. That's a thing. I beat you, you to it. You That's did. a thing. You were ready. ready. I was on you it. Waiting. <laughs> Primed. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about hardtack. Uh, how early on was hardtack made? Uh, very early. Very. On. Yeah. Um, he was born of a single image uh, that one of our concept artists had done, just as a character, just like hey messing around, and uh, uh, it was actually uh, uh, Tony Bedard, who was a writer here at the time, uh, was going through um, the network, just looking through concept art, and he saw this sailor, and everything about the sailor kind of fell into place there as far as his name and personality, and uh, and of all the you know, di different agents we explored throughout the life of AOM, uh, Hartek stuck around. He, he, just, he, became, he became the character like everyone loved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big, big, loud sailor who's everybody's friend. Um, yeah, fun guy. Yeah, I guess we should mention, like, these really early concepts we got here at Hardtack. Actually, the uh, two rows in the upper left are actually Hollywood, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But man. That's right. He went, I'm looking at some, I haven't actually re really yeah. been able to look at some of these Hardtack concepts super closely, but I'm way into the... Uh, Swinging the anchor, one. yeah. <laughs> well, even though even though he was inspired by um, by a piece of art, um, you know, like well, let's let's now that we have a core concept, let's uh, let's explore it a bit more. And uh, you can see uh, like surly shipwreck there, uh, letter C. Uh, <laughs> there's something cool about D and that anchor in his hand. Yeah, that's just really what cool. I'm way into. Um, but you know, he ended up. We ended up coming coming back around, and A is very close to what he looked mm -hmm. like originally. Oh yeah, and uh, like in the initial, you know, the initial uh, artwork, and so yeah. Sometimes when when things just click as well as that uh, design did with that character, it's like you know, there's no reason to change this. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, they this was mentioned when we streamed uh, Fortune last week, but that Fortune like was kind of born from like a Post-it note. Mm -hmm. Was Hardtack also one of those post-it notes that was hanging around for a bit? No, no. Okay. It's, uh, we went through so many different um, different methods of coming up with characters. And, uh, yeah, Fortune was born of uh, uh, two post-it notes put together. Uh, one one, one post-it note said high-tech and one post-it note said pirate. And, okay. uh, but Hardtack was just a JPEG on the network. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where uh, where James Holland, the concept artist, where where he uh, how that idea came to him. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, and you know, and it's like some some of our agents are born from uh, from code names. Just the code name sounded cool, right? Uh -huh. And so it's always fun to see all the different ways they're born. This is actually pretty close too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's almost you know, almost maybe a little skews a little younger in the in those images. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I think yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. This is also pretty fairly early. His his de design's pretty close. His design's actually the one that made it to the CG trailer, I think, our announced trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but when I was reading this, it seems like it's pretty much all the same. Uh, can you tell us a little bit like? Who Hardtack is, what he's like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Hardtack, Ishmael Thunderberg. Um, <laughs> you know, the, his. We wanted, we wanted the guy everyone likes, right? The big personality, and mm -hmm. we saw this character. It's like, yeah, he is. Like he's, you see him, and and he attracts attention. Um, we knew we wanted him to be a people person, though. We wanted him to be someone who just, he didn't judge, loved everyone, you know, um, had a good, like, moral foundation, but 
hated Legion. Like he, we needed him <laughs> to hate Legion mm-hmm. uh, with all his heart. So the backstory came about, um, you know, that he was actually there in the shit uh, on Devil's Night um, and and faced off against Legion, you know, face to face. And and that made him cool. That made him different than a lot of other agents who, who came to the fight after. That right. this, that, that he was a he was a, a, a U.S. he was a sailor in the U.S. Navy, and when everything bad happened, he was right there. You know, he was like an eyewitness to the to some of the events. Right. Um, and uh, building off of that, he's a guy who loves everybody. Uh, and he, you know, it was like the idea that he 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 refers to himself in the third person occasionally, just because, <laughs> you know, the hard hard tech or the hard tech is is almost a persona he puts on, and um, it was during an early meeting, I think where hard tech was pitched um, initially that. We, no, we were compiling them to kind of pitch a batch of agents to the team at large. And uh, uh, audio guy here, Brandon Bray, was like, we should all yell the name Hardtack when, <laughs> when you present Hardtack. And that's where that was born. Like the, that team meeting where I'm up there and I have a PowerPoint and I'm like, and here we have Hardtack. And then, you know, like 10 people in the room just yell Hardtack. And that stuck around a long, long, long time. Let me tell you that. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you would hear yeah, that in meetings. I, I started work here when that had already started, but I had zero context for it. So, like, the very first meeting I was here, everyone just said hard tackle at once, and I had no idea what was happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fun fact, for those who don't know, hard tack is, a, like, a dry bread, like, it's a, it's a ration. It's a C ration. Uh, and so, like, when people... Learn that here, they're usually pretty surprised. Like, what you named them? What? Like, I don't know, just, it sounds cool. We want hard tech, hard tech, hard tech, hard tech. Yeah, we got this one from the, the same character sheet, a little bit mm-hmm. more up close. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a throughout all of his concepts, there's a slight evolution to his beard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you got to mm-hmm. get that beard right. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's it's iconic. Yeah. So one of the things here, right, was starting to play with some of the tech stuff and. Mm. You know, we try to always think, like, uh, one of the, the things that we sort of play on a scale is how much do they need to use technology and do they leverage technology versus mm-hmm. how much they just don't need it. Like, they just naturally can just, you know, pummel people with their hands. Right. With their own natural ability. So, yeah. you know, we tried, like, hey, what if we gave him, like, super teched out stuff? It was like, it doesn't feel right. Like, hard tech doesn't need any of that, like... He wouldn't want it. He'd be like, no, nah, it's just hold me back. Just let me do what I do already. Doesn't need layers yeah. on his shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cool as some of that stuff looks. It's like, no, nah, it feels better when he has none of it. Um, yeah, just going through some different color schemes for him. Mm-hmm. The uh, hmm. Didn't he also have a different color scheme for the CG trailer? I feel like he did, maybe. Uh, it's pretty close, pretty close to the... Okay. I mean, like, as much as you leave, you keep coming back, you're like, man, the, you know, kind of the orangish-red beanie feels right. And, yeah. And, you know, uh, that certain sort of blue top that makes you that makes you feel like the navy. Uh, you just kind of keep coming back to it. Yeah. Biggest difference between uh, the heart attack and the, the game and the heart attack and the reveal trailer is actually the harpoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh right! Yeah, yeah we have some stuff later with the rope, high tech rope high-tech in the rope. Uh, in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then it was like you know tele tele harpoon, so yeah, yeah. Uh, it's what made it into the game, which is cool. Um, oh look what, what like look what man what? look at yeah. that clean shaven Dang. clean shaven hard tech. <laughs> yeah, um, was it was there ever a time where we somebody wanted him to be clean shaven, or was it just like? Just building the face before building the beard. Yeah, it was one of those things. It was like let's let's build it without the beard first, okay. um, and uh, you know the beard is on there afterwards. So even like when we we make all of his facial expressions and stuff, um, we did it without the beard first, right? Because we wanted to make sure like uh, it works properly. Uh, you know uh, the foundation of of right. the thing. We're not totally breaking it so that if at some point somebody was like, hey, what if he didn't have a beard and we did like a flashback or something and you're like, uh, this looks terrible. So, uh, yeah, it was built without without the beard and then uh, and then the beard went went on after. Okay. Yeah. Man, that beard is so yeah. not what it is now. <laughs> CG heart attack, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even there, he, he you know he got a bit of a of a beard makeover from there to uh, mm-hmm. to finally even even his hair right because he's kind of got like the longer hair in the oh, back yeah. and uh, and you know once he gets the full mayhem makeover they uh, they trim it up a bit. 
Partek was just trying something out for the reveal trailer. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is the first time people are meeting me. I just kind of want a, I want a unique look. But it, you know. it'd been a while. They were busy. Yeah. yeah kicking Legion ass. That's and, right. And uh, hadn't hadn't hit the barber in a while. <laughs> Does the agency have its own barber? Oh yeah, Anyone? absolutely, yeah. absolutely. His oh, shotgun no. is pretty different here too, isn't it? Uh, it's it's actually pretty close. Okay. Uh, it's got the it's got the drum mag, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know with with all the weapons for the characters, um, the idea is that you know that, yeah they had their maybe their favorite weapon before they joined Mayhem, and then once they joined, uh, you know they have we have an armor smith that makes them sort of a weapon that's that's best suited to what it is that they need and how they would use it. Right. So he doesn't stray far from what they liked, but he likes to make sure that uh, it's upgraded to the best of Mayhem's ability. Okay. Right. I like uh, Steve Leopard's suggestion of creating a romance novel about Hartag. <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, Jason? yeah, drop an anchor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. The salty seas. Uh, this is all good stuff. Salty yeah. seas. <laughs> 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 Payload. <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Depth charge. Oh, man. One. Yeah, it's a series. Fleet week. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in. Let's do this. I gotta go, guys. Right, just, you know, publish it right on Amazon. That's right. Uh, oh, I just, it makes me smile. Yeah. Just makes me smile. So this was this is actually like the the sort of final concept mm -hmm. um, that was uh, then created the model. So you can see the shotgun. You know, once it's sort of brought into into uh, mayhem tech, but it's still got the drum mag. Um, you can see the harpoon where it goes from. Yeah. They're like, yeah, you can have a rope, or you know, we have teleportation tech. You don't need to necessarily have mm -hmm. a rope if you can just teleport stuff back. So, uh, you know, we were playing with the idea of can it do? Does it start out small, and you can have multiple of them, and right. regenerates that way, and, and kind of playing with some different yeah. ideas as to how it looks, but. Ultimately, like seeing that harpoon on his back yeah. became really important, right? Because that's one of those signifying features of the character that to not see that all the time just didn't feel right. Yeah, we have some stuff in a little bit that, that shows us in the concept art too, the, like the pod dispenser. Yeah. We had that for a while. Yeah. Speaking of, yeah. well, that's not even the dispenser, that's just like a whole bunch of them on his hip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was even before the, uh, the dispenser was there, so it was. You know, you try it out, and you're like, hey, what, you know, where would he have the dispenser? Put it on his hip, and maybe he's throwing him there. So mm -hmm. that was uh, kind of a test. Yeah, early early shotgun before it mm -hmm. kind of got the, the Mayhem makeover yeah. to mm -hmm. sort of give it that overall visual language and shapes that are used for, for the tech. Oh, I guess we should, I don't know if this has mentioned before. So, like, when you guys are building agents, they're all based on a couple different archetypes, right? Like for body size, is this one of them? Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. the that's the large male. Um, okay. We essentially have, I think, five of them. Um, and so we have that so that when a character it comes up, before we get the model, we can say, oh, it's going to be hard tech. All right, he's going to be large male. Let's put him on this this uh, this rig, right. and we can we can get him in game and getting him moving and and uh, not not have to wait for or, mm -hmm. or you know try and hurry along character art right. or concept art to sort of make these decisions too early. Yeah. Because I remember, like, really early on, there were a couple of characters that, like, when they were first being made, they were just using other people's models of the same body type mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah, and that's how it is, and, and you know, for the longest time, too. I, yeah. I think we mentioned last week with Fortune. Once Fortune was the first character that was done, everyone just inherited her animation. So for the longest time, <laughs> before before I started animating Hardtack, his own stuff, he would jump up in the air and kick his legs out to the side <laughs> like Fortune. and oh, It was magnificent. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could have seen that. I came in too late for that, I think. Yeah. Oh man! Uh, Taco Task Force had a good question of what do you mean by um, the mayhem makeover, uh, and w what we explore often is these agents are people before they join mayhem, and at some point they join mayhem and get some sort of tech or some sort of armor from mayhem that has a very signature look and a unifying look, and it, it, what does that mean to their character? How do they use it, uh, and how does that contrast with who they were before and what they bring over? Uh, to form out the new mayhem version of their character. Okay. The, uh... Okay, yeah, that's... Pay, that's pay attention to the eye patch <laughs> as you go from concept <laughs> art to character. To <laughs> yeah, that was actually that was one where I think for animations reasons, just for framing, it was 
I think, oh, because we had him standing sideways um, mm -hmm. with his shotgun when the eye patch was on the left eye, yeah. and he's essentially mm -hmm. looking out this way yep. forward with the left eye. It felt yep. really weird to uh, have okay. it there. So it was like, actually, so you'd probably want that eye to be able to see. Yeah. So let's uh, let's cover up the, the right eye instead. So <laughs> that's why he's got it here. Um, I prefer to think that true true to pirate lore, he just switches the patch from side <laughs> to side. Yeah. You know? He does. He actually does have a problem. He just wants one always adjusted to the dark. I was hoping that like flipping the, the eye patch to another eye meant he was more serious. Like, yeah, like like tilting like, the cap a bit, like, like over the top. Yeah, that's ghost uh, time. Stallone. He's like, oh, heart attacks, change an eye patch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody run. <laughs> um, yeah, there's his dispenser again for the. That was there for a while too, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The. Uh, yeah, this was just him in a test level. Mm -hmm. Basically, when he was done model-wise, wasn't he? Is his beard even there? No, that's I, I, maybe like how they kind of rendered some of the, the textures and, and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you know, that stuff's kind of continually ongoing right. um, to, to you know, how lighting works and sort of all that stuff. But model-wise, yeah, that's all, hmm. that's all essentially what you see in game. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was the... Yeah, it's the same as the... Uh, is that one? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. The, um... Yeah, his shotgun, I remember, uh... It wasn't the shotgun itself, but I remember that the way it worked for his mayhem changed after a while, didn't it? Yeah, so one of the things was it was the... the he was going to throw multiple harpoons. Yeah. And then once we were like, hey, not seeing the harpoon on his back just didn't... Visually, it was like, we feel like we're losing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so you can see that it moved to, well... We like the idea of him, you know, throwing these explosives. So let's put the grenade launcher on the bottom of his gun, mm -hmm. um, and uh, put the harpoon then on his back, and sort of that's how the two informed one another. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, again, just really much earlier harpoons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Oh there. yeah, there he is. Yeah. This is him. This is him on uh, on Devil's Night. Yeah, he's got both eyes, or at least doesn't have an eye patch. Whatever story <laughs> you prefer, uh, he has no beard. He has the short hair. He has uh, the, his uh, standard uh, naval uniform and hat. Um, yeah, that night changed him, man. It changed him. Oh my god. And yeah, if you, people watching this haven't seen some of our earlier streams too. Yeah, we have a. 2D animated intro cutscene for every agent. Every agent. Um, we showed Daisies a while ago when we <laughs> when we re -de debuted the game. Uh, yeah. We have not shown any for the others yet, though. Yeah, no, but they're 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 good fun, and yeah. and you get to learn a lot about the character. There he yeah. is. And now yeah. we're we're getting on to some of the final art here, like finished promo promo art and all that. Good old Hartek. Hartek. I'm imagining yeah. that being like a fat head. Oh right! Oh my, on the wall. And like, on the wall. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I really would like to see a hard tech Funko Pop. I'm just throwing that out there. Man, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty great. I'm more than an android yeah. guy. What I what I love about this one too, right, is like the fact that he's smiling, right? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. he's not. Oh yeah. He's not mm -hmm. angry. He's not whatever. Like he loves just going out there. Messing Legion <laughs> up, like it's he just loves every yeah. second of it, right? He's so social, so happy, like. I love that piece so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. The uh, yeah, this is another. I think we've shown this concept art before, actually. But this mm -hmm. is for the uh, CD trailer. Although where our camera is currently on the screen is covering up the very small hard tack. So let's let's move us out of the way there so we can peep them. Um, yeah, very small hard tack. Yeah. Small, yeah. Tack. small tack. Small tack. <laughs> <laughs> Baby tack. Baby tack. Yeah. Um, Someone said young tack before. Young tack. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, there's so many tacks we yeah. can have. Yep. Mm -hmm. See a lot of potential here. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, these were, uh, there were a couple promo screenshots uh, sent out for the game in the past couple weeks, I believe Jason Whiteside were in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember people were, I think I mentioned this before actually, but uh, some people said it reminded them like the Street Fighter 2 like versus yes. screen stuff, but personally for me like the way maybe it's just because the the Legion guys there as well, but it always reminds me of like the the 90s CG robots on NFL games. Do you remember them? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 
have the Legion dude here just fucking dancing on the screen every time somebody does a fucking touchdown. <laughs> you can see uh, you can see the badge on his arm there, the USS American Eagle. That was the name of uh, that was the name of his carrier ship, Hartax. Right. Um, yeah, this yeah. this is one yeah. we've had for a while. Yeah, just an average Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually tell too because like some of the alleyways here are a lot. Uh, they look a lot different in the game now. Like what actually populates a lot of these alleyways and stuff now. It's a lot earlier. This is like a good year and a half. Or yeah, something? this was an E3 image. So the, yeah, actually, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, go so hard tech. So many ragdolls. It's a good amount of ragdolls, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I'm capturing something, somebody requests that it needs to be dead bodies. It's like, but how many can I have? <laughs> that'll go nuts. Um, Ray, all right, Ray so uh, before we uh, continue on, we've got to set some stuff up because we're going to go in-game, take a look at Hardtack and what he can do, what he's all about. Um, so, yeah, do we have any questions from the chat at the moment or any that have not have yet to be answered? Yeah. Uh, I talk game. Appropriate name for the question. Could you des describe the design philosophy for AOM? Uh, yeah, I, I think the stream. Can we extend the stream for like twelve hours or so? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're <laughs> break everything way down. Do you have a PowerPoint um, you want to bring up? Why DX Raider? Why is Jordan so hot? Oh, I can answer that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead. Mike. Would you like to feel? <laughs> well, again, do we have thirteen hours? Yeah, because yeah, honestly, yeah, I mean, that takes even longer than. <laughs> sorry, I mean, we, so we can't talk design philosophy part because of it, we know. So so he also takes care of himself. Yeah. The, uh, um, you guys, you can I mean, like bring in my elementary school teachers, and this is my life, me. Yeah, what do we do? I mean, we can keep going. <laughs> Why is Jordan so hot in the back? All right, we're no longer talking oh, yeah. about hard tech. This stream yeah. is yeah. about Jordan. Jordan no, tech. We can, we can keep going for as long as we want, but the thing that records our streams only goes for two hours. So, <laughs> all right, so part one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jordan's hot. Four pillars of the philosophy, yeah. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. You want to talk hot. about that? Pillar yeah. one, you have to have a hot Jordan. Yeah. Just a Jordan, any. The rest of the hot though. Mm -hmm. We had we had another Jordan. All right. Did we? Hop over this game. <laughs> Uh, I'll break down um, some of our agent design philosophy in, 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 as we step through the game. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, geez, we actually have a, a conversation going on with Heart Attack here already. Yes. Playlist. What kind of music are you into? You gotta ask. <laughs> so, baby, give me that good R and B, the kind that makes the ladies swoon. Ha <laughs> Yeah, nice. But I don't have any of that. Oh well. Yeah, so I don't think this happened when we were streaming with... <laughs> That's with, great. <laughs> it's banter. Yeah. It's banter. That it happens throughout the game. Uh, the, the agents you're... Uh, either you, that you have in your active squad and agents you have unlocked or agents back at the base. Um, they'll occasionally, you know, pipe in. You guys will have a conversation. And so Mixer, being a DJ uh, and being one of the agents back at the Ark, calls in for Hard Tack to get some musical recommendations. Uh, yeah, I don't think we actually had any of those come up live stream, so I'm glad it happened right. inadvertently the instant I unpaused. Mm -hmm. uh, also, yeah, I I paused here just because I I really love the the VR pets. Mm -hmm. The VR pets are great. Yeah, those yeah. were those were a lot of fun. Those were essentially uh, like because the one on the side I think is I think the one around the back is churning butter. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yeah. That's the that's the churning butter. Yeah, okay. Uh, churning butter. Uh, churning butter animation. Churning butter. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Man, farm scene. Okay, what's what's happening there? Mm -hmm. uh, that's. Have you never churned butter before? <laughs> no, believe it or not. Well, never churned apparently. Butter. So these were essentially right. Like we were like we want we want uh, we want mm -hmm. VR actions, and so uh, they just had the mocap actors just randomly start coming up with stuff. <laughs> and I mean, you know, there's that. I think we've got washing a dog. It's yeah. There's there's a a lot of goodies so with, the, uh, with the VR stuff. Um, yeah, we only got three people here, but there's more. That my favorite yeah. one is the guy who c constantly falls over. Oh, he's skydiving. Oh, he's skydiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what's he doing? That iPad just, just came out of his butt. <laughs> out of Where do you keep your iPad? It's a huge iPad. Uh, you know what? That's a fair that's point. It's not a mini. That's a fair point. <laughs> All right. So, let's talk a little bit about Hard Tack here. Yeah. Um, gameplay wise. Should we jump into gameplay? Yeah, like, okay, so we've talked about him as a character. Like, what mm. type of character is he gameplay-wise? Because we kind of have every agent is a little more, like, geared toward doing certain types mm. of things. 
right? We, you know, we have an approach for each agent as to what their kind of personality in combat is. Uh, and Hardtack is a tough, jolly guy. He, he's got an, a big personality, uh, so he likes to have a big presence on the battlefield. He likes to get in the enemy's face, take a lot of damage, and shell out a lot of damage. Um, he is definitely a bruiser, tankier type of character. He prefers to run in head on uh, and just take the hits because he can deliver it right back right. At, it, at his core. The shotgun had been around with Hartek for quite a long time. Did you ever like, was that ever limiting? Did you ever wish like, man, I, I would give him something different if... It fits his personality so well and complements that whole bruiser mentality yeah. that it's it's hard to get away from. Uh, one of the problems we've had in development with Hartek is he's too effective. Mm. He's too good at what he does. Um, <laughs> it, it was it's hard to balance to where, you know, the shotgun is, is often dealing too much damage or not enough, just mm -hmm. with how like the spread works and uh, how 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 far we can push. Um, his refire rates and everything, uh, but it it's such a strong defining part of how he plays that we always stuck with it. We were never gonna take it away. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, plus, it complements his special ability insanely well. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping while you're talking, I would come across one of those. So, uh, just as a brief rundown, there's a bunch of abilities like every agent shares. Obviously, we got our triple jump. Um, we have, you know, every agent has one weapon, mm -hmm. uh, a dash, although his, he has some extra things going on with his yeah. dash there. Um, every agent has some sort of traversal ability, mm -hmm. so pressing, well, with hard tack, he can just, I did it earlier, he can climb walls with his harpoon. It's an extra vertical boost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other agents can either do the dash in the air, or they can uh, briefly become invisible to get away from enemies and reposition themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but on top of that, we have the... We showed a little bit of this uh, last stream, mm -hmm. but I figured we'd go a little more step-by-step -step with this. So uh, all of our agents level up. Um, as they level up, certain stats go up, uh, but you also get uh, some points to distribute. Mm -hmm. I, we have a maxed out person. All the agents here are maxed out, but like, I haven't distributed all the points yet, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you want to Bands. talk to yeah. talk to that. Um, so each agent has uh, these different upgrades that you can put points into to uh, uh, up to 10 times to give them a little boost, a little stat boost in combat. And then the fourth one is always a squad bonus that if you have them on your team, that will be applied to everyone. Uh, you know. And then it usually reflects their play style, but then can complement other characters' play style and help you uh, combo what your most effective squad is. Uh, for example, hard tack, um, was it D levels bonus or prevents, takes less damage from melee. Yeah. Um, so it encourages everyone to get in into the enemy's face. Uh, and then uh, the other half of him is he likes to. He's uh, very tanky, so he has uh, like fast healer up there, mm -hmm. which allows him to. Get more health from health packs, allows them to stay alive longer. Uh, prime specimen in a similar vein um, increases its health regen. When an agent is not active, they are regenerating health so they can get back into the battle. Right. And so swapping your agents helps you maximize your total health, uh, how much damage you can take across your whole squad. And he can regen it faster so he can come back in to take it more hits for you. And then his last one, uh, Bamf, there increases his reload speed for a shotgun, which is how his da that's where his damage comes from, and that's where he can <coughs> murder 300 hell troopers, like we saw in that one image. So we try to get this the upgrades and the progression overall to complement the the high points of the agent's play style. Right. Um, and so when I was running around just a little bit earlier, I picked up a, a, a crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also have core upgrades, which are separate from them leveling up. These are, once you get a uh, upgrade core, you can purchase one of these. Either, you can get cores through a couple different ways. Um, one of them is like those shards I picked up. When you pick up 10 of them, they become one core. Um, and these are all passive abilities that are just, once you purchase them, they're mm -hmm. just always going. Mm -hmm. And again, these are kind of tailored to what they're really good at doing, yeah? Right. Um, I, I believe every agent, one of them, 
modifies their mayhem ability. Yes. Um, that we can get into later, or and a lot of them will modify existing abilities or things that every agent has, like the melee. Um, and it, like again, it complements what they like to do. Like this one gives hard gives hard attack uh, a stack of fortify, which reduces the amount of damage he takes uh, whenever he dashes. So the idea is you're dashing towards enemies, and they can hit you, but you're taking less damage, so it doesn't matter, and you can shrug it off and then shotgun them in the face. Dashing and shotgunning is so awesome. Yeah. Like, because it's yeah. like aiming while you're dashing, like you're moving fast, so it's hard, but when you're just like dashing at people, it's, it's great. Yeah, let's call in some enemies here so I can actually shoot some dudes in the face. So, in addition to uh, every agent has a weapon, um, and what's nice in our game is you're, you have a, uh, a magazine that has limited ammo, but you have unlimited ammo in your pool. So you want to just keep blasting, you want to keep fighting. There's no limitation. You don't have to manage that. You do have to manage a reload to change some pacing. Um, but in addition to the weapon, every agent has a special ability. Uh, as you saw, Hollywood shot a grenade there. Um, the special ability is on a cooldown. It, uh, it will refresh, and then you can use it again. Um, but it's a, it's a high point in the normal pacing of the character. It, it complements their overall strategy and uh, gives them a little moment from time to time. Hardtack uses his signature harpoon to bring enemies I over know. to him. Oh, that sucked. Uh, good, yeah, that, there, <laughs> well, there's an enemy type that makes uh, its allies invulnerable. Yeah, um, the, uh, the buff trooper. Yeah. But uh, Hardtack, his default special, because uh, you can change the special through progression, through unlocking new gadgets and equipping them, is the teleharpoon. He'll pull an enemy to him to the perfect range for his shotgun to get a nice shotgun blast. And if you, you know, if you are ready for it, straight to the head, does uh, crit damage and can just wreck anything you pull towards you. Yeah. Um, his his uh, specials range from something more explosive that deals damage, like Hollywood's grenade, to something with a little more utility, like hardtack. And they all, uh, hardtack's harpoon, and they all have different cooldowns uh, and, and different like tempos, how often you can use it. Hard tax is a little more utility, but can be used fairly often uh, and can help him, and also helps uh, uh, cover the gaps in his strategy because he can use it to pull snipers over to him. Right. Something that, you know, being such short range, you might have a little trouble with. Yeah, and so, you know, we've shown the, the tele harpoon. Mm -hmm. um, currently, he's like kind of naked equipment wise, it's just the stuff he started with. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were showing you uh, using a special Atel Harpoon, but throughout the game you can also unlock uh, more specials for each agent. There are three per agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so on top of the Tel Harpoon, we can equip uh, two others to switch what a special does. Mm -hmm. We've got the, the Turtle Harpoon um, and the Boom Harpoon, yeah. which I think is probably the one I prefer. Yeah, we, we wanted to give different flavors to the harpoon. We didn't want all of them to pull. So the boom harpoon is cool because it actually pushes. It teleports someone away from hardtack, and then um, when wherever they end up after a teleport, they explode. So the idea is you throw it against the person in the front of the pack, it teleports them amongst its allies, and then blows them all up. Yeah. And then we have the, uh, got our turtle harpoon, which is, uh, I always thought kind of an interesting one for him because mm -hmm. he's usually just really good at wrecking stuff, and this mm -hmm. is more of a uh, slowing an enemy down. This slows an enemy down and, allow, and has them take more damage. Uh, Hardtack um, can easily shred through a lot of the smaller enemies, but perfect timing. Thank you, Shock Trooper just showed up. <laughs> uh, something like the Turtle Harpoon against them turns those enemies into something Hardtack can shred. Uh, and the nice thing is, is um, uh, if you kill someone who is under the effects of that harpoon, the cooldown is refreshed. So you can uh, use it again much more quickly. So you kind of like mark your target, and if you're efficient at marking, you, your target, your damage goes up and you can kill Legion much, much faster. Get down. Um, so yeah, there's another thing I was doing there when I uh, used the turtle harpoon on the shock trooper. Um, he had shields up. And certain, uh, well, hell, we'll even pull up here. Um, 
there's a, a screen here we can you can look at all the abilities for mm -hmm. an agent and we have specializations uh, because hardtack is completely leveled up both of them are unlocked mm -hmm. um, yeah each uh, agent is better at certain types of damage types uh, he's really good for shooting through armor mm -hmm. but that tank trooper or excuse me shock trooper was just covered in shields so right. switching to fortune after doing that uh, her uh, shield buster really does it actually does it stack when you if you switch to another agent so like if I weaken them and switch to somebody else do I take out so, more of their shields so they uh, they have several layers of health bars yeah right and so they might they'll have either they'll have health and some enemies will have an additional health bar of armor or shield uh, once you plow through the armor you're down to normal health mm -hmm. and so everyone is equally effective against normal okay. health. Uh, shield is a little trickier because it will come back if you don't deal damage. Right. Um, but So the idea is you switch to an agent to engage with a certain enemy, but then once you've set them up to, to be down to normal health, you can go back to your preferred strategy of killing them. Right. Um, so do we have enough guys here? Yeah. There's a few. Yeah, yeah. we got a decent yeah, amount of guys here. Uh, here, let's, uh, let's do a, a little mayhem ability we've mm. shot a lot of guys mm -hmm. so our, our mayhem bar in the bottom left is completely filled here you want me to fuck it up don't you don't you so uh the mayhem ability is the agent's uh high point is there is their moment to shine is when they are at their most powerful uh and it does something that complements both their kit and their personality uh hard tack changes the uh, cartridge that's in his gun to be a to be a mine launcher and he shoots out remote mines that upon activating your man ability again you can manually explode giving a, a ton of interesting utility you can shoot them one at a time to be uh, just like a grenade launcher or you can shoot them all at your feet and wait for one of the shock troopers to jump at you to set a nice little trap yeah I've I'm a big fan of when his mayhem like got updated in the game because it added the "you want me to fuck it up, don't you?" line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is uh... yeah. His was one of the first ones that we we done and uh... whoa oh! whoa guess who Who's that is? There? Oh my! <laughs> Just a second. Let's uh, add somebody to this call. The Volition Strange is brought to you by Skype. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. How's it going? <laughs> man. <laughs> LA traffic. Nobody had anywhere to go today. Everybody was just me <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, as we we uh, mentioned at the beginning of the, screen, the stream, not the screen. <laughs> there was some screaming when I heard T.C. Carson was going to be mm -hmm. on here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have the voice actor for Hard Tack. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? You know, hard tack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Hard tacking. <laughs> talking all things hard tack. Yes. It's perfect timing because we were just talking about uh, the ultimate line that you want me to yeah. fuck it up, don't you? Don't you? Uh, when we were when we were wanting to update his ultimate his activation because it didn't feel like it didn't feel like that hard tack, big, lovable, happy personality. When we heard that line, like just going through mm. some of the stuff he recorded. Like, we all just started laughing, and we were like, that's what I want to hear. Every time he's about to blow people up, I want to hear him say that line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Well, cool, man. I'm glad you liked it. I really had a good time for us in the game. Yeah, so I was, I heard, I don't know if this is true, because uh, I, I was wondering this too, like, uh, for the, the voice actors voicing the agents in this game, how much... Uh, of the character was already dictated and how much was like contributed by the voice actors themselves and I heard that pretty much all hard tack swearing just kind of added ad lib um, yeah so so like hard tack was one of the first ones written and uh, and so and it took a while before we got to the point where we were, we were uh, um, casting and of course when it came down to hard tech, I was like, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna fulfill my dream of working with every cast member from Living Single and I'm gonna start with T C Carson. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, like once once T C started man, once you started doing the voice, he became uh -huh. so much easier to write because uh, because you gave it that extra push. But I sat in on some of your sessions and you had you edited yourself on a couple takes <laughs> where you were like 
going to places <laughs> that I can't go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, it was. I like I said, I had a really good time working with the team. We always had a great, um, a, a lot of fun um, during the sessions, and that's why I like a hard tech. He's a, a lovable brute. Yeah, yeah. A lovable brute, but you know, don't mess with him and don't mess don't mess with his friends or his family. Oh yep. no, that'd be bad. <laughs> it's it's hard when you have like, look, we want the we want the big loud the big loud guy, right? Mm -hmm. Like I think we all know a big loud guy. Mm -hmm. Everyone at Volition works with one, David. <laughs> um, I love you, Zug. Uh, wait, wait, can you see me? Yeah, we can yeah. see you. Uh, oh, they can't. Oh, no, the they, can't. They no can't. we can see it. You're not up on stream, though. They're just hearing you. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can't. You're all watching me. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure you. that, yeah. you know, I wouldn't do shit that you don't need to see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but, but he, you know, the thing is, Hard Tech can't just be. He, he, he needs to go from being, like, super intimidating in the face of Legion to just, like, big, cuddly teddy bear. And TC, I think you do a fantastic job of bringing that grit and anger when you need to, mm -hmm. but then immediately you can go into like, look, it's hard tech, man. Come on, everyone loves hard tech, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, come on, he watches soap operas. Come on, he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's a he's a big fan of uh, of Wellman Estate, which is a yes. period, uh -huh. a period soap opera in the AOM universe. Yeah. It's also if you do his uh, his compliment. Uh, he he's uh, pulling pulling from the series when he does things like a English blustering and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> yeah. Even the uh, little uh, just his uh, eye patch like a monocle was uh, was pulling from that as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, is that one of his? Uh... Yeah, it's one of his fidgets. So if you don't press anything, he'll sometimes okay, yeah. he'll adjust well, his uh, well, uh... his eye patch. Uh, and yeah, the compliment is the uh, tip of the hat. Right. Okay. So now what's what's the deal on the animated series? <laughs> <laughs> Are you pitching it? Are you yeah, pitching yeah. us right now? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm putting the question out there. You, know, you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah, it, it would be so amazing. The the two people really resonated with the 2D um, the 2D cinematics that we've yep. we've shown. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's great because the the idea of the Saturday Redux and I know in the, from the in, on the writing side of things we pulled a lot from classic cartoon series right and classic uh, action series and and uh, you know it's you know it, it, people people want to like when they talk about hard tag and they talk about like you know, other kind of pop culture references people like to go to things like um, like Roadblock from GI Joe or B A Baracus from uh, <laughs> From a team, but uh, I like to think he, he brings his own he brings his own flair to that, but still maintaining kind of thing. flair, but it's, it is definitely of that ilk. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, right on. Which is, I mean, those are two of the best characters. Like I yeah. loved Roadblock, and and the thing about Roadblock, right, is that he also uh, he was a, a Cajun chef, right? That was like the the, the fun little thing about Roadblock. Right. So so with Hardtack, it's like you know what he really likes British period pieces, yeah. and uh, he's the only other member in the book club. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I guess uh, before we a ask some more questions, mm -hmm. should we uh, finish up real quick with how hard tack works here? Uh, we hit his mayhem. Should we yeah, look we, at? Uh, the main things we haven't shown are the, uh, the, the other gadgets, yeah. I suppose. So in addition to your special gadget, uh, you have two other slots. Uh, you have a weapon gadget and a passive gadget. Each agent has three of each. Um, the weapon gadget focuses on kind of your attacks, uh, usually involving your weapon. Um, this one's in, this, the first one there is a, a personal favorite, a uh, per, periscopic barrel is, uh, as I lovingly refer to it as snipe tack. <laughs> it increases the range on your shotgun and allows him to um, hit enemies a little further than he normally would be, and giving him range, uh, which is normally his weakness. Uh, it helps buffer that a little bit. Uh, things like Bloodlust Mod uh, cools down his special faster, so if you like throwing harpoons, you can equip this and throw more harpoons as you kill guys. Um, and then Oversized Magazine, if you just want to be shotgunning more, gives you more rounds in the shotgun. 
Um, there's sometimes a balancing trade-off. Uh, you get more rounds, but it takes a little bit longer to reload. Ultimately, though, it should be it's it is a bonus. You are able to go longer in combat before having to reload. Uh, and then the passive slot is something that's just a little more, that's not really tied to a weapon or any one specific thing and tends to, as the name describes, be a little bit more passive to be a little more stat boosting uh, and to complement things you may be doing in, bat, in combat. Um, this one is nice. Uh, enemies that are melee hard attack and get knocked back. So a shock trooper comes in to punch him. Hard tech can take the hit, he'll still stagger, the shock trooper will get knocked back and fly back himself. Uh, and it teaches people that they, you don't wanna you don't wanna fuck with hard tech. You don't wanna get <laughs> That's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, give it, this one gives him extra health, makes him more durable, makes him stay in the battle longer. Um, not all of them, you know, some are simple, some are a little more, uh, they have like a, a triggering effect like being meleeed. Um, and this one, when hard tech gets low health, uh, it makes him stronger. He can deal more damage. Uh, two stacks of empower will increase his damage output on everything. Uh, so you don't want to make him angry either. Mm. Yeah, and so on top of that, we have <clears throat> one other thing that is more of a late game thing, right? Mm -hmm. The Legion Tech? Yes. Uh, so if you look at the descriptions for all these, the specials, the, the uh, weapons, the passive gadgets, all of them, uh, they can all have a Legion Tech slotted on them. So in the bottom here, it says Rush mm -hmm. of Blood. That's the Rush of Blood Legion Tech uh, equipped to this one. You equip those in the, the arc, which we won't be seeing this stream. Right. That'll be for a, a later stream. We'll be focusing on that place. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you have to like craft them. You have to get schematics to even make them mm -hmm. first. Then you get resources to craft them. Yeah. And then you can attach them to any of the gadgets. Um, they're a little more freeform, where you have specific slots for your gadgets, your uh, Legion tech, uh, you can f play with more and find more combos and, s and, and stack everything up on top of each other to make different builds and play styles. Yeah, so like, if we take a look at a couple of these. Uh, specifically, when you were talking about snipe tech, I realized, oh wait, that was I put this one on by accident, but it was mm -hmm. uh, really good. The uh, one that gives him extended range is also if I shoot somebody, it destroys their armor and their shields. Right. Uh, each enemy has a favored enemy, and Hardtack uh, uh, is really good against buff troopers. Like, he has specific gadgets that call them out. That was the person who made that one enemy invulnerable earlier. So if you pull them in with your harpoon, they're even more vulnerable to the shotgun. They'll always go down in one hit. Yeah. And then... Yeah, with percussive yeah. armor, it's just there's a 50% chance to inflict disrupt on enemies mm -hmm. that damage him while also getting knocked back. Um, well, knocked back is specifically melee. This okay. is for if he's shot as well. Oh, right, right. Uh, disrupt will prevent them from shooting their weapon and using abilities. They'll still be able to melee you, so you could equip the one that disrupts enemies, and then when they're left to only melee you, they'll then get knocked back, and no one can touch hard attack. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. one I put on Turtle Harpoon seemed to, to work pretty well, too, where it's like... It's already a special that's slowing and, and weakening an enemy, uh, so it might as well, like, if I'm low on health, I also get a boost to my attack power and also to mm -hmm. my defense. Mm -hmm. a, a nice scenario if you're on, like, a one-on-one -on -one combat to the death. You can debuff your enemy, and when it gets, uh, when it gets intense, hard attack will be able to just clean up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now... Uh, I might as well call in some more dudes. Um, any ch questions from the chat? Oh god, these things. <laughs> I'll just leave there. That was a lot of them too, good lord. Um, They're gonna come okay. after you. That's true, they are. Yeah. There they come. <laughs> oh man, yep. One by one. Oh! Yep. Okay. <laughs> Jesus lord. Um, Okay, I have a, a specific question for, for TC. There is one hard tech line I am way, way, way into, and I just want to know if you remember this line. Uh, it's specifically for um, the, the uh, Mayhem Nose, like, loading screen things, and there's a part where hard tech is just talking. He gives the advice, learn to swim, and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. He's got nothing else to it. <laughs> yeah. That is probably my favorite hard tech line. 
Learn to swim. Yeah, I don't know if you remember those, TC. There's a we have a we had a bank of uh, of PSA lines, right? Where Hard Tech's giving advice to people, like the like the um, yes, I know you have the battle thing. Yeah, those yeah. were those are super fun to write. But yeah, you, you, the way you delivered it, you're like, um, learn to swim. That's it. That's all I got. And it was just it killed, man. It killed. People heard that, and I, like as written, I was like. I was like, this is kind of a funny line. This this will be okay. But the way you delivered it, man, people like it became people's favorite <laughs> favorite line from him. And I'm like, <laughs> it's so weird. Like you just he's just giving you good advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But you know, uh, there's another hard tag line that I. See, I, I, so, you know, I, not only was I lead writer anyway, I'm hard, hard tech specifically was a, a, an agent that I wrote. Um, and there was a line I wrote that just made me laugh. And then, like, when other people started to hear it, they started to laugh. And then the way you delivered it, it became the iconic line for hard tech, which is, ahoy, motherfuckers. Right? <laughs> 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 And originally that was just like, just one of his lines. Just, yeah, holy motherfuckers, I think it's funny. And then, yeah, that just became, uh, like after the after the announced trailer came out, man, I was like, oh, I'm so happy that that, if I die, that's gonna, that's gonna be what I'm remembered for. I'm the guy who wrote Ahoy Motherfuckers. And, <laughs> but man, uh, the uh, delivery. But it was a good line. I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of quintessential hard tack. It, it, it is, yeah. it is. It really is. I'm just I'm just grinning like an idiot because I just I love Hard Tack. Mm -hmm. um, I I love having that type of character and TC big fan of what of how you were able to bring him to life because um, he he just he, he could have gone bad you know like it, with a it, there were so many things that had to come together correctly for Hard Tack to work um, mm -hmm. even though I think he probably sounds really simple on the surface right just oh yeah he's a big loud guy with a shotgun but. The, 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 you know, if you don't if you don't stick the details on a character like him, he becomes just really like a shallow, yeah. uh, kind of unfunny one note, one joke thing. And I think all the pieces came together. I think the animation, the design, TC. I think your voice work, I think the writing, just really came together to uh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh jeez. So I know that I know that in, in the actual recording of the direction, um, we worked real hard to make sure that he was believable and he just wasn't um, like you said that one note character. So yeah. we talked a lot about it. And yeah, that was a crazy, yeah. that was a crazy thing your mic your microphone just did. Or was that a voice you put on? <laughs> yeah, again. The beginning of the beginning of your answer was very uh, like like we got a lot of feedback in the mic, yeah. but. Uh, but yeah, you were talking about the a lot of discussion that happened beforehand. Um, like, how do you? I mean, you you've done a lot of voice work. Obviously, you've done a lot of acting. Um, period. But like, uh, like, like, what? Like, when you saw, like, when you saw, like, what attracted you to Hard Tack? When you were like, okay, yeah. I, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Where'd you go? Uh -oh. oh my uh -oh. God. No, well, see, now he's just ignoring me. <laughs> All right. I can't hear you. Can you We're hear me? We're gonna call him back. Yeah. yeah. Whoop. That's weird. Thanks, Skype. That's Thanks, weird. Skype. Well, there goes their uh, sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, well, uh, and I had a really good question to ask him too just now. Yeah, you did. We'll start talking about something else, and then he'll, he'll come right back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had a lot of those same discussions internally, right? I know. Like when I started animating, it was like, what's, like, what makes him so that he isn't that that sort of one note character uh, that feels like we're just gonna, like, how do we make him so he doesn't feel like a repeat of other characters that we've seen, and that he feels like right. somebody that is uh, that is unique, that is that is himself, and you know, I think it is those those like you said those details of like being into <laughs> British period dramas, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, oh, jeez. One of these guys. Oh, we gotta, we gotta. Somebody else want to play while I manage Skype here? We'll give it to, we'll give it Jordan. Yep. Oh God. Yeah, sure. The the oh, boss Lord. character comes on. Yeah. And me the control. Uh, I know one of the <laughs> other characters too that, because uh, we talked about like BA Barack stuff like that. But I think it was uh, when you were like, you know, he's like the Rock, and it that was the one that like clicked it for me, <laughs> because it's you know with with that you can see like you can see how he's like super big and capable, uh, and could be intimidating, but is like so lovable and yeah. you just want to like 
regardless of, of all of that, you just want to give him just this giant hug. Yeah. And like, everybody wants to be his best friend. Everyone wants a chance to hang out with him. And uh, those were the moments for me that I was like, oh, yeah, like that's, that's, that is, that was the, the, the one that unlocked me. Yeah. Let's see if TC can get in this car. Yeah, man. Time. I was about to bring up the singing. Yes. <gasps> the singing. I really wanted to bring up the singing. Yes. All right. That was the other moment that I, <laughs> that you unlocked him for me. <laughs> was, uh, was the fact that you said, uh, he's, he's, he's the one coming up with the words for the, for the Mayhem theme song. Yes. He but, thinks Mayhem should have a theme song. Yeah. And so, and so he's always just kind of <laughs> sitting around when he has a brief, a brief uh, moment in between kicking Legion ass. He's sort of putting it together in his head what the words would be. Uh, hey, Josh, I uh, murdered everyone. Could you? Um, hey, heart guys? attack? Oh, here's oh, another absolutely. conversation. Oh, sorry, Josh. Jordan's too good. <laughs> no, I'm really good at this video game. Here, I put you at. Uh, I'm hot, and I'm good at video game. games. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's his Tinder profile right there. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll let the other so they can meet. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! This conversation breaks my heart. Perfect, Tartak. Just perfect. So that's Tartak talking to Gremlin. Um, yeah. Well, Gremlin's uh, Gremlin's someone back at the base, and uh, some you know, every, a lot of people see Hartak as their big brother, and some people maybe want more, but poor Hartak's kind of a kind of oblivious to it. Here he is. Hey there. Welcome back. Oh, wow. Yay. Hey. Hi. Hi. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm glad oh, you... so you deemed, you deemed me worthy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, okay. So it wasn't that you couldn't make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this won't happen again. So the question I had before Josh so rudely disconnected you, uh, DC, out of spite and anger, uh, was like, what, what, what hooked you into Hard Tech? Like, like, what, uh, what attracted you to the character? And what was there anything about him where you're like, okay, I get him now. I can, I can do this character. Um, I, I like the artwork. I like how big he was. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, after doing Kratos, who was another big person, he was a different kind of big, you know. Um, and to be able to be that broad yeah. with the voicing, yeah. to have the license to curse and like whatever comes up comes out and it's okay. <laughs> sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. That gave me the freedom to like really investigate, you know, how he would behave and who he was to me. So um, I, I, I just like the fact that he was so big and brutish, yeah. but he really wasn't. Yeah, you know he had he had this soft softer side that a lot of people don't see, but their his teammates see it. Yeah. You know they <laughs> they see it. So you're saying you were never allowed to say like the motherfucking gods of Olympus fucking betrayed me? I'm gonna <laughs> that was never allowed on God of War. <laughs> Ares, motherfucker, get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, before you came back, we were talking about uh, Hardtack singing a little bit. <laughs> That's always fun. You know, it's, it's always fun. You know, Hardtack is a cool dude. I mean, you know, he, he's a renaissance man. You know, he <laughs> sings, he watches soap operas. Yeah. He plays the violin. Bet you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Thank you, TC. Uh, <laughs> It's canon. It was said yeah. a lot. <laughs> I should inform audio about that. <laughs> We're going to need that, guys. Oh, <laughs> Can it be a new taunt or something? Oh, a oh, really long, complicated taunt. He just yeah, pulls yeah, out yeah. a violin. <laughs> Fully mocap from an expert. <laughs> His melee, he just busts a violin <laughs> over someone's head. We'll just change the harpoon to a, to a violin now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Televarius. I, yeah. I would love that. <laughs> Kratos and Hard Deck share an apartment. Yeah, I want to. I want to watch that. I want to. I want to watch that. Oh, wanna, wanna watch that. Uh, uh, let's let's not say we did. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn to do the dishes. 
That was me doing PC cards and it was perfect. <laughs> People didn't know that. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the pinch hitter with the need of TC Carson. They're like, all right, he's not available, I'm in, I'm coming in. <laughs> make it work, make it work. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there is one specific moment for Hartack singing, isn't there? He sings a couple of times. Yeah, there is, there okay. is. It's, it's, it's quite a big spoiler, but uh, right. yeah, there's a... Uh, keep we'll, a lookout. We won't get into it, but... Uh, yeah, there may be there may be a song that happens. Hard Deck wants in on it. It's pretty great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, yeah, in fact, I believe TC. I believe you. I don't know if you remember the the line. I mean, so people know. Like, I mean, we we dump hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of lines on 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 actors like TC when they come in. So I never expect them to to, to remember it. But it's uh, you ad libbed this one, I believe, and you used the phrase "trick a bitch." <laughs> And I was like, that's wonderful. That is fantastic. Oh, so that came from a, a, a I think a very David um, episode. Is that the guy with the glasses? Oh, yeah, 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 from Kirby Enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Kip Whitley was on this show. And I think he was playing a hooker or something. <laughs> and he was supposed to take her out to dinner, but then he wound up taking her someplace really cheap and sleazy. sleazy. And she said, oh, this is some trick of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it just stuck in my mind with my friends. We call this shit out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 oh my it, God, it killed, man. When I, uh, uh, Larry, one of the audio guys here, um, uh, he, play, he played me that part, man. I was just, I was just doubled over. It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's good. If I can make you guys laugh, then I'm, oh. doing, my, I'm doing my job. So I was, I was talking to Larry, one of our, our audio people, and he mentioned, uh, TC, are you a musician? Yes, I am. How long have you been doing I, that for? I, oh, since uh, grade school. Okay. I've been since grade school. I got two albums out. You can get them on Amazon and on Spotify and on uh, iTunes. All right. Yeah. All that. Yeah. On the YouTube oh. video, they'll be here. And here. <laughs> I'll have you know, YouTube killed annotations. Oh, oh man. I'm sorry. Uh, are you, you? You guys are based here in LA, right? Us? No, we are in uh, Champaign, Illinois. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. Right. That's why I went to college. I remember yeah. that. Oh you, right. You went to college at, uh, at U of I. Yep. Wow. I sure did. You and uh, Nick Offerman. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's actually uh he's giving what the uh, the the he's giving the speech, the <laughs> commendment commendment speech whatever because he's oh, yeah. a, he's a U of I alumna. Alumnus. I did that one year. Did you? Really? That's fantastic. That was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> now you need to go back and do it again, but it's hard tack. Yeah, well, I just need to go back and do it again, period. <laughs> do it better. But it was it was glad nice to be asked. Yeah, right on. When was this? Like around what year? Probably 94, 5, somewhere around there. All right, so the height of living single. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so um, with your band, are you just uh, a singer? Do you play instruments? Um, I play at the piano, but not enough for people to hear, just enough for me to learn what I need to learn. All right. But I've got a really nice trio. We're going to be here for the Central Avenue Jazz Festival on July 30th in um, Los Angeles. Okay, nice. What kind of band is it? Jazz. Oh, man. Yeah. I used to be in jazz band in high school. Yeah. Then I stopped. Yeah? What did you play? I was trumpet. First chair trumpet. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll handle so if you have an opening for a trumpet, do you say? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little rusty, but... Rusty trumpet, that's what they call him. <laughs> <laughs> My fifth internet moniker. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, yeah, that's... I mean, we just spawned, like, our, what, third wave here of, third of dudes? Third wave, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit of what hard tax like, combat-wise, um, yep. personality-wise and all that. 
Um, I guess before we, we start wrapping it up, I guess we'll ask the chat uh, if they have any questions about hard tack or about the game or for TC even. Uh, and we'll, we'll answer a couple of those before we wrap it up. Mm -hmm. And there's... Uh, I can't remember where in the game does hard tack do like the... Uh, like the the posh British voice is that one of his taunts? It's, it's, it's a compliment. It's compliment, one of his compliments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Which you can do in the middle of combat. You'll probably get interrupted. Yeah. I can also <laughs> just pause the combat if we want to want to check it out. <laughs> That's not his compliment. The <laughs> finger? <laughs> nope. Got compliments Sin right spin. here. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So wait, are you playing the game now? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what you're looking at, okay. <laughs> so what is everybody so intense? What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, reruns a mash on here. We're just watching. Yeah, right. right. I'm gonna, uh, with the magic of game development, turn on passive AI so all these guys stop shooting you. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Kind of dark magic. Why do I need to get out of the range too? Or, right. or I could just kill them all. <clears throat> All right. All right. I'm going to see his taunt and compliment. I so wish I, I, I really got into playing. When I do, do to you. Did you ever? I really wish I, I got into playing. I don't really, um, I don't have the patience mm -hmm. to learn all of the moves in order to play the game. I get about 15 minutes in and then I'm done. <laughs> Usually I'm dead by then too. <laughs> well, look, it's my lucky day. All right, let's see if we can we can get this some poshness. Mm-hmm. How fair is that? My my absolute favorite favorite though the line. I didn't write a line for it. I just wrote uh, British blustering. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. And I was like, I hope TC knows what this means. And holy crap. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> now that I don't remember. Oh man, okay, well may may uh So my thought was like that just traditionally stuffy British, you know, like clearing of the throat. Oh, we talked over it. Let's see if we can get it again. Oh yeah. The the subtitle for it is great too. Stuffy British flustering is what it says. It said whole like <laughs> And you went on like a long time, dude. <laughs> you know, they didn't stop me. They let me they just let me go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got a question from the uh, the chat uh, asking TC, how did you get into voice acting? Uh, I took a class. I took a class that um, had a demo attached to it at the end of the, the term. So I took the class and then we did the demo and then I. Um, shopped for an agency and I've been with Fox since um, day one and it's been over what 10 12 years wow. with them so, so you, you came to it after traditional like not you know traditional on-screen acting you came to voice acting yes yeah. well I had done commercial work in Chicago I used to do jingle work um, there so I had done a couple of voiceovers um, when I lived in Chicago but I didn't really get heavily into it until I came here to um, Los Angeles. Hmm. So one person was asking if there's any gameplay uh, purposes to the taunts and compliments or if they're just there for for flavor. Uh, they're just there for flavor. Sometimes if you taunt and compliment a ped, like a pedestrian, they'll, they'll uh, you know, uh, oh, right, taunt yeah. or compliment you back. So it is possible to be running around as hard tack and flip off a pedestrian and they'll flip you off back, uh, <laughs> which is pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> I have confirmation from the stream that British people do in fact make that noise. <laughs> Wait, why are we trying to get hard tech? Yeah, we're we we it. Quiet down, TC. We're trying to, trying to hear hard tech. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. Yeah. I think that's hard tech. Hard tech. Hard tech. Hard tech. We all love hard tech. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Actually, we do. Have, we have one final request. I'll throw it out to TC, see if he wants to fulfill it. But we have a request for you to deliver the iconic hardtack line, "Ahoy, motherfuckers." <laughs> you think you have one in yet? <laughs> Ahoy, motherfuckers! There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. That was <laughs> crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Have fun in champagne. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you, TC. Yeah. Thank you, TC. Awesome. Hi, right, peace. See ya. Oh man, that's hard tech. Okay, I'm glad people in the chat are very happy. They <laughs> they got that. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> hard yeah. Tech. For some reason, like you know, we showed off fortune and all that. And it's like, all right, it's pretty cool showing off fortune, but like mm. after showing off hard tech, it's like. Oh, we got to show off Hard Tack. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's just one of those characters for me. He's, uh, he's, I, you know, I, I, I play through the game with Hard Tack. I, I love, I really, truly do love all the characters, but Hard Tack, I have a special fondness for. Uh, Hard Tack and uh, and one other that I hope mm-hmm. to be on the stream for. But uh, there's just something comforting about Hard Tack. He's just such a great character for me, and uh, I got to have a lot of fun with him and. You know, he started out as he started out as a piece of artwork, and and then some voice lines, and then you know, once like uh, Mike and the animators uh, got their hands on him, and once like uh, Jordan and the design put put their hands on him, just watching this character become this integral part of the game was just just amazing. It was really cool too. Like, I started working here just as some of the characters were getting put in the game. Like Hardtack was still gray model. I think he didn't have any textures yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I think this one was like all blue. Oh right, he was blue all tack. blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah blue yeah. tack. Yeah. I wonder if there's any screenshots of blue tack hanging around. Um, oh right. Uh, before we actually uh, wrap it up, we got a couple bugs to show. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm glad somebody uh, reminded me of blue tack, so uh, I, I didn't skip these precious, precious bugs. Oh. Bugs are the best. I mean, they're terrible. They're terrible. Yeah, they're but terrible. But at the, they're the at the, looking back now, right, when we go, man, this game, like, so proud of how it looks. Uh, it's great. At the time, you're just like, why are you doing this to me? Right? Like, like we, have a, we have a whole internal thread on the forum that's like, uh, it was supposed to be marketing stuff, but it's essentially just become, like, bugs throughout mm. all of development. I think, yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> like, so much of it is just, like, animation and tech art bugs, mm. and it's just like, thanks for just making sure you've yeah. let us, like, you, you've <laughs> documented all of our failures throughout right, the development. Yeah. Thank you. Before uh, we get to the bugs, uh, this was a promo picture a couple weeks ago for our, our stream, uh, but we had a bunch of these, uh, once I switch over... We had a bunch of these hardtack caps plus beard combos mm-hmm. made uh, for promo events. Uh, I think I look great in it. Yeah. yeah. I look just like hardtack. All I was missing was like a thicker beard, really. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 But, all right. I the thought that was hardtack. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, going into some bugs. Uh. What? <laughs> yeah, so that would have been, uh, you know, some uh, teeth were missing, some textures, or got, like, like there, we've got glowy bits in the game, right? Like, on different elements, like emissive. And so uh, somewhere teeth got some of that <laughs> material on them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, a little scary. <laughs> uh, also, <clears throat> leaning in for the kiss here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Be quiet. We don't Man, want like, normally, that's, like... When Hartek's about to shoot people, like looks like mm-hmm. he's got a I'm gonna shoot people face. Yeah. But like if you mm-hmm. just put it in a slightly different context, like yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Love lives us up where we <laughs> different belong. kind of intensity. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and then I believe we have one more screenshot. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Oh, there's so much good stuff going on here. <laughs> So he got. That's so you can fun. see. So this is in our test level. That 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 uh, that crate in the background is like normal crate in game size, and so we were playing with scaling uh, scaling uh, characters, and so he got scaled way down. <laughs> yeah. His his weapons did not. Uh, you can also see, and, and this is a fun <laughs> a fun uh, 
little tidbit. So this is what we started calling a stump tack because <laughs> uh, parts of him didn't scale properly. So you can see like his shoulders are here, but his head like sunk in to his yeah. shoulders. And uh, actually one of our trailers uh, has him driving in stump tack before it got fixed. Yeah. And uh, it's it's fixed now. But uh, yeah, you can see he looks like he looks like he got in, like his dad's clothes or something as a little kid. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Oh, little man. little disappointed in you, Mike. You didn't call him Thumbtack. Oh, oh, thumbtack. That's why I'm not the writer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. That's, but he is adorable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I have a little hard tech All in right. my pocket. We've got. Uh, we got <laughs> TikTok. We got two videos. This is hard tax here, but it's not really hard tack that causes the issue. Uh, but you know, up and out of the car. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Sometimes they have a mind Whoa. of their own. Whoa. Calm down, car. 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 <laughs> car. car. No, they're not the ones that hurt you. No. Car. <laughs> <laughs> Car, car, car. 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 This hey. is this isn't funny. Car. Did you mocap my dog when I get home? <laughs> yeah, exactly what Pepper does. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then uh, maybe my my favorite bug we we've, we've shown so far, possibly. You see this? <laughs> oh man. Oh, wow. Like those, like those black snakes you get at fireworks. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, I think what's happening is here Wizard technology. is when something get, when one of these destructibles gets destroyed, we spawn in effects and additional like debris. And the debris that gets spawned was the original thing that exploded, the original crate. So uh. everyone spawns a new crate, which is already in the explosion, which then explodes, <laughs> spawning a new crate. And you this. get this terrifying snake-like death creature. This is incredible. <laughs> yeah, and, and everyone, every uh, engineer that's responsible for performance is just like <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> I mean, look, this much shit has already gotten in the thing, the game's like... Still going pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 So, oh oh no, there. two of them. Man. One wasn't enough apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember there was a bug for a little bit where it wasn't the uh, those crates, but not a thing that that like a canister thing that could blow up. Where if you shot it when it blew up, it didn't like turn into debris. It just turned into the same model but ten times as big. Yeah. <laughs> Because it didn't have, sometimes, you know, they'll have scale set on them. And right. I think that one didn't have the scale, or the scale was set, like, way too big by accident. And, yeah, there were a few objects. It was pretty great. It just keeps <laughs> going. going. Huh? Like. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so, I just want to watch this. I haven't watched the whole thing, so I don't know if the game crashes at the end, or if it's just like, <laughs> I have right, work right. to do. I can't stay here Look all day. Hardtech flicking off the camera, like, <laughs> Legion monitor. He's like, yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I'm doing to your shit. Try to walk to work now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it doesn't stop. Well, yeah, someone please leaves. take care of Oh, my God, tag. the whole room <laughs> is almost like... This is so good. <laughs> Can you drown in chairs? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It looks like office oh, supply. Just... And now they're Whoa. just floating in space. What? Because there's probably like a limit as to how many things they can draw. Okay. Yeah. Like show in the game. So at this point, right, it's probably just like showing the new one and it can't clean up the old ones fast enough. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, that, that bug is incredible. That's what yeah. happens when you mess with dark matter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, man. All right. We showed those bugs. I love them. Yep. yep. I love Heart Attack. Yeah. We all love Heart Attack. So yeah, that's uh, if you came in late or if uh, this is your first time, you just didn't know. Uh, we are streaming Agents of Mayhem, our new game, every week on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, 2 Pacific, 4 Central, uh, 22 GMT. Um, mm-hmm. Every Thursday, uh, showing what, off a what different. Time in Seoul, South Korea? Huh? What time in Seoul, South Korea? Oh should've God, mm. I should know that one. That one's uh, mm-hmm. 4 a.m. Maybe. The let's just, let's just say. Yeah, let's just, just say 4 a.m. Um, and every week we'll be focusing on a different playable agent. Uh, there'll be a couple other streams where we focus on a con- uh, couple different things, like the, the ARC and Gremlin Tech. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going all the way to launch, which is August 15th. 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 Yeah. 
Um, and yeah, so thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, come back next week if you, you want to see more agents, some other cool stuff. Lots of concept art, early renders, bugs. <laughs> The ones that are funny. Oh, bugs. Oh, man. The ones that are funny. There are a lot that are just not funny. <laughs> they're they're, they're not all like, like that. No. Yeah, there's a lot that's just like, fuck. A lot of why, oh, why are they God. doing nothing? Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm Josh Stinson, the video editor here at Volition. And today we also had... Mike Jungluth, lead animator. Jordan Argelini, uh gameplay systems designer. TC Carson, voice actor for Hardtack, mm -hmm. and Jason O'Blair, lead writer. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, make sure to come back next week. Oh, also, uh, if you want to follow us on social media, it's at AOM the Game on Twitter, AOM the Game on Facebook, and also just AOMTheGame.com for our website. Uh, and yeah, with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Ahoy! Goodbye, Goodbye motherfucker.